Welcome back to another B to the 7 Quick Bits. If you are a restaurant, QSR, retail, hardware, liquor store, any place that's similar to that, any service brand, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about how you can increase your sales, your transactions, your comps, and your overall customer engagements. This is where many brands struggle. They either don't have the time, they don't have the resources, or they don't even know where to start. So this is where I come in, into play. I've got 20 years of digital experience running data-driven programs at Papa John's International on bringing consumers into the brand, retaining those consumers, and regaining them when they are leaving. So this is something that, you know, one, I'm very passionate about, but two, it's where I can come in, give you recommendations on where you could potentially start with a lot of your programs. So the foundation that I use is reach, retain, and regain. And really the basis of that is to support your overall strategy and goals, which ultimately is increased sales and transactions. So what I'm able to do is layer this approach onto omni-channel, onto the customer journeys to understand, you know, the beginning of the funnel, the end of the funnel, reaching new consumers, retaining those that are within it, and also regaining those that are potentially leaving. And it's looking at each one of it. It's looking at all the channels, the messaging, the communications, the media that's being used and put together a full comprehensive, really, recommendation on what you should, should be doing, potentially could be doing, and what you also should be thinking about in the future. Now, these are not all things that you could potentially be doing at once, but it's a playbook that you could use moving forward. And the reason I like working with a lot of brands like these in the restaurant industry, QSR, is that they have data and potentially the opportunity to collect a lot of data. And when I'm talking about data, I'm talking about customer data, like customer behaviors, when a consumer um, created an account, um, downloaded the app, when they last ordered, their purchase history, what they've ordered, the type of products that they ordered. And with all this type of customer data, you can get very specific, you can get very targeted, and you can really approach them across multiple channels with your communication. So it's very effective. But it's, you know, those brands that have the data or have the ca capabilities to collect data at a large scale that then could be used. Many brands have the tools, but I could also recommend tools that they could be using. But this is a great way to not only bring in new consumers, but also to retain those that are within your brand. So with that said, if you are one of these brands that has a lot of data, doesn't know what to do with it, you know, let's talk. Um, let's get on a phone. Let's see what it is that you're doing, what your goals are. And, you know, this is where we can use my last 20 years of experience. And to really dig into what you're doing, I can give you those recommendations. Now, a lot of this, you know, recommendations, it's, um, it's going to improve your efficiency. It's going to improve the way that you um, engage with your consumers. And, you know, I'm not coming in to replace anyone. If you've got a team, you, you know, these are recommendations for that team as well. And, you know, if you do need help on some of the um, campaign execution, you know, once again, that's something my team can help you with as well. So let's connect on LinkedIn. You can go to my website, b2the7.com. And everyone have a great day. And once again, if you're one of those brands, let's take advantage of that data and start getting increased sales, transactions, and comps. Talk to you later.